What's up guys, Sammy Itzke here. Now today I'm gonna to show you how to tie the modified or strengthened AG chain knot. It should turn out a little something like this. Now, I get asked all the time by people what knot I use to connect my poppers and stick baits to my leader. Um, and for a long time now I've been using the AG chain knot. I found it to be a really high percentage, really strong knot, um, really easy to tie and ties really well in your big thick leaders which is something you want for fishing for GTs and mackerel and all that sort of stuff. Um, before I get started, for all you guys have already subscribed to my channel, cheers for that, really appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the like button while you're at it and I'll keep making these informative videos like that to keep you guys out there fishing. Righto, let's get started. Now to make it a little easier to see, we've got some Venetian bly cord and a, uh, a shifter. We're gonna use this hole here and we'll get to it. So your first step, you wanna grab your leader and pass it through the eye of whatever you're tying to. So in this case, we've got the shifter, but pull a nice section of tag end through, and then you wanna loop it back through three times. So once already, twice, and then a third time as well. Jeez, struggling. So we've got three loops there. Now, if you were to have these, and I'll just mess them up a bit, have these all trussed over each other and, and biting down, crossed over each other and biting down each other like that, chances are once you do tighten that up on a fish, you're gonna cut in on one of the loops and it's gonna break off. So it's important to keep all those loops lined up nice and straight and in order so they sit nice and neatly next to each other, like so. So when you tighten them up, they'll look like that. Now you wanna leave a little bit of slack there so you can create some loops, like so. Then you grab your, lead, your tag in, sorry, and you wanna go around and through. So it'll come through like that. Now, if you were to go the other way, if you're gonna go around the back, you'll see it crosses over these lines and once you tighten that up, it's gonna bite in and, and break you off. So you wanna go around, come back through, so that when you tighten it up, it looks exactly like that. Now you can see none of those loops are on top of each other, they're all sitting nice and pretty. Now from here, we do our alternating half hitches, so we'll go one under, and you tighten each one as you go. One over, tighten them down, another under, another over, another under, and one more over, like so. And you'll get a line of half hitches that looks nice and neat, like so. Now, we're almost there. There's only one step to go to finish the knot. What you do is you grab your tag end and go once and twice, so a double half hitch, and pull it down onto your knot, like so. Now, in mono, that's gonna to bunch together a lot better. But to tighten, grab your main line and your tag end and pull away. It might kink it out the side, but you'll just be able to straighten back up. There, so once it's tightened, what you do is you grab your pliers, cut that tag end off close to the knot, use your lighter to, uh, to make a bit of a bunch, make a ball at the end of this tag end, and that'll stop it feeding back through the knot. But as you can see there, a nice chain, a nice even chain that uh, looks nice and neat. And like I showed you before, that's the finished result in mono. There you have it guys. It's a nice, simple knot to tie when you're out there jigging and popping. It's super strong. It's gonna get you out of trouble and hopefully land that fish at a lifetime. Well guys, hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers.